Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are doing something fun, it's Saturday. Sophie's lessons got rescheduled from today until tomorrow because of the weather. It's actually super, super cold outside, so we're not having lessons today. But they are, uh, but she's gonna have them tomorrow on Sunday. So it is already noon, horses just had lunch. Um, uh, let me introduce you to Miss Molly, the growling dog. Why is she growling, do you wonder? Hmm, could it be this little beast? So I wanted to give you a couple of quick updates before we start the vlog. So Molly is the last dog of ours that has yet to accept the puppy, but I see new things every day. Before, she never would be this close to the puppy. The puppy is trying really hard to be friends with her, and today, Gab oh, Gabby just left. Um, today, she actually walked on Molly's tail and licked her butt. <laughs> Uh, she walked up to her and was wagging her tail. She's trying to make friends and Molly is getting closer and closer. Before today, actually I started to see changes in Molly yesterday. Before today, Molly would never even be in the same room as the puppy. So they're like inches apart and doing okay. On the other hand, don't eat my wires. Don't eat my wires. Don't eat my wires. On the other hand, Ruby and the puppy Ellie are the best of friends. Ruby lets her do whatever she wants. We still don't leave the puppy alone ever with any of the dogs, even Ruby, who's doing really well with her, and even Daisy, who's doing really well with her. We still have her monitored all the time. If we can't be there, she either comes with us or goes in her safe crate. But right now, her safe place is with Ruby, and I am actually afraid that it's gonna come to a time where she wants to lay with Ruby instead of me, because right now I'm her best friend. I'm, I'm nervous that Ruby will become her best friend instead of me. <laughs> But hopefully that won't happen. So the girls are getting ready for our video and I have been cleaning. I cleaned off all of my shelves so that I could make room for Sam's stuff because Sam's stuff always ends up outside of the shelving situation here. I cleaned off these last two bottom rows so that he could put all of his stuff in there. He still has a lot of stuff that he keeps here. I also found a picture of me today when I was 30. It's a bit dark. Let's see if you guys can see it. This was me at 30. I love my hair. It was so much longer and I loved that cut. It's the only time I ever had hair that long or no I ever had that haircut so I just had like a lot of layers and I loved that cut I actually want to go back to that cut it was back before we had horses and I wore skirts all the time and this is our one of our old houses I think this is the first house Sam and I ever bought together and I went to the gym every single day I worked night shift that's probably you could probably see bags under my eyes <laughs> but that was me at 30 you guys you guys know me in my 50s but that was me in my 30s also I found I was looking for this book for the longest time and I actually found it today when I was cleaning up stuff someone sent this to us I think I remember who it was I think it was um I think I know who it was anyways it's the Cherry Hills Horsekeeping Almanac it's essential month by month guide and I've been wanting to read through this I'm really getting into horses now that I found a way that works better for me and that I understand and I've had time to process I want to get into this so it goes by like seasons so this is summer uh, June and then it gives you things to do like it, your pest control your pasture projects to make it perfect your uh, horse keeping across America the vet clinic things that you do like our horses have their shots in the spring so this is the spring and then this is uh, late winter like January and then this is uh, so it starts in late winter but anyway it goes through everything and I'm excited and it's like different areas things to be aware of uh, ranch recipes so this is a homemade citronella fly spray like that's exciting I'm excited so anyway I've been looking for this book for like weeks and I found that and I got it out because I'm gonna be reading this I also found some of these books and I was gonna throw them out but then I decided to save, save them for my granddaughter for when she comes because I know that she likes this kind of stuff and she's 10 now probably a little bit old for these but I also have like other grandkids that are coming into these books so I saved those also got this book out which I'm gonna give to my friend who has a little boy and these books are some of my favorite books because on every page so it's a story that you would read to your little kid this one's about a train on every page there's a little duck to find so let's see if we can find him on this page oh there he is right there see and I love these kind of books because 
um, it engages the little kids. So you're reading the story and sometimes when the kid is like really little, like one and a half or two, they get kind of lost in the story. But if you spend time looking for the duck on each page, and there he is underneath this bush over here, um, it helps to keep the kid engaged. So I love this book. It's one of my favorites. I found it on my shelf. I'm going to send that to a friend of mine. And then I also found this. You're probably wondering what the heck is this? Well, a subscriber sent us these. I think her name was Carrie. She sent us these long ago and it's basically how to build a stuffed horse. And it, she cut out the horses so that girls could each build a horse and there's a, a dark bay and a light bay and I thought like a storm and a chino horse. I love them. I have two horses that she actually built and sent to us long ago. I have them up high because I don't want any of the grandkids to get a hold of them. But I really like them and I'm excited to make these. I've been looking for these as well. They were on my shelf so we're going to do that. And then I found my tripod. That's it. That's all I found. You guys might not know this about me, but every J January, February, and March, I do all my spring cleaning. I do all the big cleaning in my house. I know a lot of people do it. Well, I guess that's why it's called spring cleaning. I do it before it gets nice outside. This year, we're going to redo our garden again, and I have some plans for that. I want to grow loofah. I don't know if it gets warm enough here, but I'm going to look into it. I want to grow loofahs. That's so fun and exciting. But anyway, I'm preparing, getting ready, and doing my spring cleaning, and that's done for the morning. So you guys know the puppy is sleeping there. Let's see what happens when I leave the room. Just walking away, coming into another room. Let's see what happens. Stop and turn around, and there's a puppy. <laughs> she follows me everywhere. She makes a lot of messes. Like if you guys see all these toys laying around, mostly her. Uh, this morning when I was doing all that spring cleaning, my heart was so full because she stays with me. She always stays with me. And all the papers I threw away and all the stuff that I threw away, I put it in a big pile and she was ripping through the pile, dragging papers all over the house. Oh, she's trying to get up. Come on, she can't. <laughs> And that reminded me so much of when the, my kids were little and they used to, and I used to clean the playroom and sort through the toys. It was some of my favorite times and my favorite memories because I would dump all the toys in the middle of the room and I would sort through them and it would be like Christmas for my kids again. And they would be like going through all the toys and it would be like, I would be busy organizing and cleaning stuff that I like to do. And they would be busy around me going through all the toys. And it just was like such a fun thing. And today when the puppy did it and I was sorting through things and she was there and she was busy and active I just love that. The last thing I wanted to tell you guys is that my puppy is starting to learn to climb up the stairs and I love this breed so much. So she goes up, so every time I go, here comes Molly. <laughs> Every time I go up the stairs and she sits here and watches me, I usually bring her up with me, but I forgot. A couple of times now I've forgotten. And so she watches me go up those stairs and then she tries to follow me. So I'll look down the stairs or Sam will say, oh, the puppy's trying to follow you. And she's like gotten halfway up the stairs and then gone back down. She's nervous. She's scared, but she keeps trying. And when I try and help her and I'm like, come on, you can do it. She runs back downstairs and she won't try. She's like, Gabby, so independent. She wants to do it herself. So she's trying she's almost to the top of the stairs and the day she gets to the top of the stairs I'll be so excited for her I love that independent streak in her and that strong woman personality trait like I love that in a girl and anyway so she's just making my heart so happy so we're doing a challenge video today I'm super excited Emma slept over you guys know Emma um, she's our cousin she just recently started riding she rides with Sophie at the Pasofino place but she is thinking about showing so she's gonna be switching barns soon and it's starting to do like a whole show journey, which is exciting. So anyway, we're doing a challenge today. It's Emma's first challenge really, I think with us. And Sam and I are going to have to buy some prizes for the challenge. I have an idea, like it's going to be one a winner, but I'm gonna, after they win, I'm gonna make her have to, the winner have to choose her prize. So there'll be like a couple of prizes, maybe two prizes and one will be a dud and one will be like a real prize. So even though she wins the prize, whoever it is that wins, We'll have to make the right choice and choose the right prize to actually win something good. Hopefully that makes sense. So Sam, how have you been finding having Ellie, having a new puppy? Annoying. Why? Because she always sleeps on me at night. Yeah, I know and I'm so upset by it. It's always like in my neck and I'm like, get away from me dog. Yeah, so I want her to cuddle with me and she won't. But someone said that the reason she probably cuddles with you is because you have like a beard and so you remind her of her like furry little friends, her brothers and sisters and her mom. 
So if you shave off that beard, she'll yeah, probably I come just, back to me. I think I'm just likable. Think you're just likable? Yeah. So it's true, Ellie, I pull her in bed with me at night and the only thing, one of the things that I don't love about her is that she, like, chihuahuas are always cold, you guys, always. So they're always climbing in bed with you and wanting to snuggle and like you cannot overheat them. Ellie is always hot so she'll lay with me for five seconds but she runs off like she moves away from me because she has to get cooled down she likes to lay on the bed where there's no blankets no nothing or I put a pillow especially for her to lay on but she gets overheated oh it's annoying <laughs> but she always goes over and wakes up Sam she's always laying on his neck I'm always dragging her back to me but she just always keeps going to Sam in the night but she sleeps all night long doesn't like she loves to sleep with us sleeps all night long doesn't even stir or wake up until I wake her up like if I put her to bed at 7 and I didn't get her up till 7 30 she would sleep that long like she is a dream puppy so these are the prizes so I only got two prizes so they have to choose between one or two so one of these has actual like prizes in it and one of these is a dud so one of these has something in it that nobody wants and one of these things has something in it that everybody wants i'm not going to tell you guys what i'm not going to show you guys what's in it until the person that wins this challenge picks their box so once they pick their box i'll show you guys what was in both of them hi guys so gabby and i are at the mall and i'm looking for a pair of which i haven't had in a long time it's called um, dr martin shoes that's a pair I had in the, uh, let's see, I'm dating myself here, about 1980s, 87 maybe I had a pair of those. It lasted me for lots of years, a lot of years. Probably lasted 10 years, those shoes. And you're looking for? Dr. Martin's. Dr. Martin's too, but I, I want the low cut ones. You want the high cut ones, the boot kind? Yeah, so we're, uh, at, we're at the mall, and I think only there's maybe two stores that have Dr. Martin's here, and uh, Soft Mock is where we're headed, so we're gonna go see if they have any shoes for us. Some poor kid lost their burger on the road. You hungry? Somebody lost their burger. <laughs> All right, we're here, and here's some. Gabby, okay, you like any of these ones? These are those pull-on ones. Yeah, these ones, those are the ankles. That's what you're... That's the kind I want to get. Yeah. Oh, there they are right there. My kind. But they're too small. But they got lots of Dr. Martens. Let's look at the wall here. Here they are. That's exactly what I want to get here. Where'd you go? I thought maybe these would be good too, but I'm going to go for this kind. I'm going to go for this kind. Look at that white yellow pear. You want to get that yellow pear? That yellow pear right there? That'd be cool. What? White looks good too. Like white? Or you're just going to get black. Is that what you want? That kind? Or do you want the shortcut? You want the high cut like that? Cool. Alright, let's get them to help us. Gabby's got the ankle high one. You know mine are way cheaper than yours. Mine's like forty dollars cheaper. Because you're not getting this part. This yeah, I know. $40. That much more is forty bucks. That's crazy. All right, it sucks for us because they have no shoes for me and Gabby. We're out of luck. All right, so we've actually found a pair for Gabby at this store, Blackwell. But they didn't have nothing for me, and we picked up some lunch, dinner, everything. That's our dinner, and Gabby likes this stuff. Louisiana chicken, just this ch plain old chicken, and hers is all fresh because they just came off the just came off the stove. All right, you guys. So this is it. Uh, this is going to be a different video. I'm just going to show you guys now, though, so you can see. But this is our video. It'll be posted tonight, probably at 8 a.m. It's the last no. to leave the square. Me? Don't be mean. Can we close the gate? No. Sophia has a pony. <laughs> we'll get your water Gabby and put it in your square it's over there I think okay so this is the last to leave the square <laughs> try
Trust me, you don't want to be mean to the horses. I wouldn't chew her away. No, I am. Well. Hi, All right, so this is the, listen. <laughs> look at, look at Sophie Square. Okay, um, we are just about to get started. We're gonna let the horses roam free during this challenge. And I'm telling you now, if you're pushing the horses away from your square, you might not, you might regret that. Why? Well, you might not allow to sit down. No, there's no sitting. What if, what if my horse lays down and wants me to lay with her? No, there's no sitting. They're standing in a square. To do push-ups? No, you can't sit, you can stand. Crazy! Okay. So this is it, you guys. Last to leave their square, but there are going to be a series of challenges. A lot of water being <laughs> drink. <laughs> drink the water. Oh my gosh, she did have your AirPods. Yeah. Check and see if they're there. Yeah, they're there. <laughs> we'll do that TikTok. You know where the dog eats the, the AirPods, and you put the beeping sound to see where it is. It'll be in the horse's belly. All right. So, I'm gonna put the dogs out and we're gonna get ready to start this video. And stop the video now, post below who you think is gonna win this last to leave yeah. the video. Gabby, do you think you're gonna win? No. <laughs> Emma, you think you're gonna win? <laughs> okay, Sophie? No, I already have to pee. <laughs> All right. Yeah, poor Emma. Comment below who you think is gonna win. Gabby, Sophie, Emma. Look at Penny with her ears pinned. She's like, I don't know that girl. Comment me if you think Comment I'm Emma if you think she's gonna win. And we'll see you guys tonight. Maybe we'll do a maybe we'll do a preview or a, what are those called where you watch the video together? Premiere. Maybe we'll do a pre premiere because it's gonna be so fun. You guys should know it's freezing cold. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, our lessons got rescheduled till tomorrow. All right. So we're going to end today's video and start tonight. She loves you guys. That may or may not be a bribe. Not Gary, though. Oh my God. Don't you know that you're beautiful?